Hey guys, what's up? Well, today I'm going to do a battery mod to my Piston Bully 600. AA batteries are okay and all, but eh, not enough milliamps, you know, and the thing really doesn't have a lot of weight. Uh, so, I'm going to do my mod job a little different than I saw another guy do his. Um, he actually brought his wire at the back end here. Um, I've removed the crane and uh, brought a wire through here, so I've drilled a hole. And I'm using basically speaker wire or lamp cord wire, same gauge of stuff. Um, as far as the battery goes, I've got a couple of 9.6 volt packs. I have no idea what milliamps are in these. They're probably at least, you know, 400 or 800 packs. Um, they're about a four and a half hour charge time at uh, 200 milliamp an hour. Um, so somewhere in that neighborhood, but I got two of them. Now, I'm gonna run also I've got a 1800 uh, milliamp 7.2 volt pack, which I'm going to try first. Now this is going to be less voltage because this thing runs generally off of 9 volts. So I figure, you know what, 9.6 volts, that's 0.6 of a volt more, which is spit. So that shouldn't harm the system at all. Um, but um, definitely the 7.2 won't. And the 7.2, of course, adds a lot of weight, but equally as much these two tied together is going to add a lot more weight. So um, we're going to try each one, the 7.2 first, then the 9.6s, and hopefully nothing cooks. If so, well, <laughs> I got another parts machine, right? Um, I'll just have to hobby grade it out at some point, I guess. But um, anyways, so that's what we're going to be working on. Uh, now, as far as where I'm going to hook the power, I'm going to go right off the battery box. And I'm going to leave the stock wires exactly where they are. Um, for one, I still get use of the on-off switch. Um, but also, if I want to just leave this unit hang here and just run AAs, I would be able to do that. So, probably won't want to ever again after doing this because it should create enough power. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is try and trace down the antenna wire. And uh, I want to try and extend the range on this thing because 14 feet sucks. Um, so I want to try and extend that range too. But um, let's get the power thing solved first and if that all works good then in another video I'll work on extending the power, the, the range of this thing at that time um, if it's even going to be feasible to do. Um, but anyhow, so uh, I'm going to leave the video here, start wiring stuff up and then I'll show you close-ups of where everything's been wired through uh, so you get an idea of uh, how to do this yourself. We'll be back. Okay, so our positive wire is hooked up to here on the battery box and negative over here. So the next thing I'm going to do is start putting it back together, feed the wire through until I got, you know, not too much play, but a little bit of extra. And because uh, we're going to need the extra for plugging the battery in and out. So we'll be back. Okay guys, everything's back and assembled and I thought, you know what, well I'm in here, what the hell, I might as well extend the antenna. And I, I extended it from inside the cab because the one thing I found out with this thing that hopefully I'm correct on is that the antenna is actually uh, part of the wiring for the top lights. Um, they left the connection inside the cab in the front down below wide open. So if it wasn't an antenna, it should have just been closed off wiring and no big deal and the antenna would be sticking out somewhere else, you'd think, right? And they got a lot of excess wire looped around the top of the cab too, which would be unnecessary if it wasn't an antenna, which actually sucks. As we know, this thing's like 14 feet for range. So I extended the wire, so hopefully we do get extra range. I've got my Tamiya plug all hooked up and all the wiring is done, everything's back together. I'm just waiting for my 1800 milliamp battery to finish charging. We're going to test it first. And um, I'm going to do these tests like outdoors anyhow, just, you know, hey, for giggles. I'm sure I got a little bit of snow I can push on the driveway with this thing anyhow. And it'll be a little bit of fun. Um, so anyhow, uh, i still got to figure out how I'm going to strap the battery in. Uh, I got an idea to do with bungee cords, see how that works out. Um, and uh, I've also tied together 
my two NICAD packs. So this is going to add quite a bit of heft and I can just plug one in at a time, you know, run one until it dies and then flip it over to the next one. And this way I can still charge them separately too and save me from building a Y connector, which, hmm, oh well. So there we go. So we will do the 7.2 volt first because I know at least that will not harm anything. And um, then we'll try the 9.6 and see if we cook this thing or not. And like I said, if we do cook it, well, I got more spare parts. But then at that point, it becomes time to rip it apart and turn it into hobby grade down the road when I can get the money for a dual ESC that I'll need and among other gizmos. So uh, stay tuned for the outdoor stuff. Okay guys, so we're ready for test one. I got the uh, 7.2 volt battery pack installed, so we'll try it first and see how it does. Oh, that's pathetic. Okay, so I don't think 7.2 volts is quite enough power for this thing. Because it seems that even though all I did was extend the wire, which should be for the antenna, range is even crappier. So we just don't have quite enough juice. So I think it's time we plug in the 9.6 pack. Be right back. Okay guys, so I'm going to plug this in live just in case something lights up. You never know, right? Now let's paste this out. Thirteen feet and she starts to chug so the range didn't uh, increase any so that little mod was hmm, stupid. I guess I'll have to uh, take a look at the other PCB board that I have on the other one. Well, okay, 0.6 of a volt didn't really make much difference. Um, lengthening the antenna, as we assumed it was, was apparently incorrect. So, 
it seems to have also made a mess of everything too even with my range it's not too great so I think we're uh, kind of back to the drawing board and hmm, see what's next so I guess I'll check the spare PCB board I have and see what the actual antenna is and see if I was right or wrong and um, but this extending the battery pack deal on this model doesn't seem to be a very good idea the one I saw on YouTube the guy used a 7.2 volt NIM pack on the uh, first version of this thing and uh, so it wasn't the piston bully 600 specifically nobody tried it so I thought yeah I will and uh, obviously hmm, dumb move so back we go again to the drawing board thanks for watching and when I have an update if I have one you guys will be the first ones to know see ya